Hey guys, my name is Allison and welcome back to my channel. You asked for it, I told you all it was coming. Then I psyched you all out and made you wait for it, <laughs> but it's finally here. My personal review of leggings of the industry. I want to start this video off by saying that there really is no like sneaky behind the scenes favoritism between any of these pairs of leggings. Um, they were all sent to me, so I didn't pay for any of them. So. There is no one company above another before I even tried these on, gathered the information, um, and worked in them to give you all the best review I possibly could. With that being said, you all, most of y'all probably know, I was sponsored by Lux Pet Products a long, not a long time ago, but um, in the past. And there's no hard feelings, at least not on my end. So everything is fine there. I was the one that ended the relationship, so I'm not like trashing any company in any video. I am giving you all my honest opinions about each product that I'm going to try on and talk with you guys about today. So anything else, comment below and I'd be happy to answer your questions. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. You all have been waiting a long time and let's just get into it. So the first pair of leggings that I, um, tried on for the video for you guys are the Kenshi Fab Pants, okay? Um, these are from uh, Kenshi, and I'm doing this in no particular order. We'll talk about my what I would pick as my favorite at the end. Um, but I, at first, put these pants on, thought they were really weird, like they fit very different than any other legging that I own. If you see, um, the front of the legging is very low compared to the like back like the back of the legging the seam kind of goes up and around your butt and then it dips down in the front and goes down like all the way down and that took me a good amount of time to get used to but once i was over that weird feeling honestly i really really like them um the Kenshi Fab Pants are probably going to have a YouTube video on their own just because I have seen a lot of, not necessarily hate, um, but people that buy this legging that don't understand the actual compression benefits um, that this legging provides groomers. So we're going to have probably talk about that um, in a separate video. It would be way too much to go into detail here, but truly this pair gives you all the most benefit out of all of the pairs i'm going to talk about today um just because they are so tight and i do see some of the reviews saying that it is difficult for you all to like put them on if you like i ended up getting a small and that's pretty average to what i wear and i didn't think i was getting these on <laughs> like they are tight but if you've never had compression leggings before you're probably like, what is happening? That is what they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be so form-fitting that they actually give your muscles a form of relief and help compress everything while you're standing all day at work. Now, this style legging, I would compare it to more of a leisure style legging. They do have some seams, but not very many, and um, a couple of the seams were sewn to where the seams not, like the extra stitching's not on the outside, so the hair can't stick to it. Um, I have been wearing these for a couple months at work, just like normal, washing with no problem at all. And um, they are, I believe, $99 on the Kenshi's web on Kenshi's grooming website. And they are lint proof, bleach proof. I think that was it. Um, lint proof and bleach proof, they said. Now I haven't tried the bleach proof, um, but I will say they're pretty lint proof. I don't have any little pills of little things like I do on some of my other leggings and truly I have had no problems like I have seen in some of their reviews of some issues other people are having I have not experienced any of those so this is my experience with the kimchi fab pants and I absolutely love them now I will say one of the things that I was not like pleasantly surprised about 
was this one pocket. Kimchi's fab pants have one pocket on the side and it is pretty much an awfully designed pocket. Like it is a last second thought to like, oh crap, we didn't put a pocket on the legging, so just sew one in. Um, because it's almost like a sock, like you can pull it inside out and it doesn't, you have to like shove your whole hand in there and then like hold it down so that that pocket will lay flat like after you've put the pants on. And of course it's not like a deal breaker for me, but it is just really, really annoying if you actually use your pockets. I could feel this being something that you might act like literally hate. I'm not somebody that uses pockets in my leggings, um, but if you did, every time you would take something out of it, it would definitely turn inside out on you and that's just really annoying. So that's pretty much the only thing that I would have to say really drove me insane and that I wish was different about the Kimchi Fab Pants. Overall, an amazing legging. Um, they do send you a whole bag. Like, I should go grab it. It's downstairs. You all know what a garment bag is, right? I don't need to go get it. Um, it's a little zip little baggie that kind of helps like for your delicates um but they give you one for the leggings which i thought was awesome because now i have an extra garment baggie that i don't need to buy for like all my other stuff but um if you wash them in there and wash as directed you really shouldn't have any problems i've had some people say that they've had some issues after washing and drying them um i don't know why you'd be drying them I don't put anything in the dryer, so maybe that's why I don't have problems with a lot of my grooming clothes like I see a lot of you guys have. I wash in cold water and I hang to dry pretty much everything I own, um, and same goes for all my grooming stuff. So they are not water resistant, um, but they do dry really fast, and I'm trying to think of anything else that I needed to, needed to say about the Kinchy Fab Pants. Are they worth the $99? 100%. I would 100% spend $100 on the Kinchy Fab Pants. With that being said, I pretty much am a athletic wear brat. I love athletic clothes, leggings, bras, shirts, sweatshirts, anything that I can wear to the gym. So I am kind of, I guess you could say, high maintenance on um, what I think is good quality. It has to be like high quality stuff. All of my leggings are around $100 that I normally wear outside of work. So to me, this was not, I mean, yeah, it's a $100 pair of leggings. The only thing that makes me mad about it is wearing it to work. Um, just because I ruin things at work. <laughs> I don't ruin things when I'm not at work, usually. But with the benefit that the compression gives you in these leggings and the hair 100% does not stick, um, I would easily spend $100 on these any day. Hands down. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. Okay, the next legging we're going to talk about is the Ladybird legging. It is like dog lover shadow legging. And no, dog lover is a pattern one. The black one is called the shadow legging. Yes, 100%. And um, they do have patterns, but I can't remember off the top of my head if the patterned ones were hair resistant. For some reason, I'm thinking that only the black ones were hair resistant. Um, but the black pair is called the Shadow Legging in Black, and it is $45.99. Um, I do like this legging. It does have a different, it's made out of a different material of the other two, the Kinshi ones and the Loyalty ones I haven't talked about yet. Um, but ultimately, a good legging. I would say the waistline is not what I would consider a high-waisted. I do think they consider this a high-waisted legging. Um, if you saw the Kinchy leggings that were before this one, that is what I would consider a high-waisted legging. Um, it holds you in in these. I just feel like... <laughs> I mean, I, would, I, I just can't categorize them as a high-waisted legging, but with that being said, they're still really great legging. They don't have pockets, so um, if pockets bother you on leggings, like some people, 
They do not have pockets and they do have some room. They're not going to be near as tight as the Kenshi leggings because that's not for everybody. Um, but they are really amazing. They have very very few seams. So if you are bothered by seams or you're thinking that your seams on your pants collect hair, then this is the legging for you. They have practically like the like the minimal amount of seams are on this and it's like only the seams necessary to like actually make it a pair of leggings and like make it all connect to each other. So definitely one of my favorite things is that there's virtually no stitching for the seams. Um, Overall, I don't have tons to say about this legging. I feel like it's a pretty basic black legging. I mean, it doesn't collect hair. Um, it does get wet, but it dries really fast like all the others. And I've washed it and it's held up. I have seen quite a few people saying that they have washed their ladybird leggings and they are not holding up. Um, but I see that about a lot of grooming apparel. And what I have to say about that is, I don't know what you're doing wrong. I've never had any of my grooming apparel far, fall apart because of washing them. And I wash my work stuff like after every time I wear it. Like I know some people like only wash smocks like at the end of the week and they'll wear the same one all week. No, like I, I wear it once and wash it because I get disgusting at work. So these pants have really been through the ringer with me. I wash them, um, hung, I hang to dry everything. I think that's one of the most important things as well as not using fabric softener on any of your grooming apparel if anybody hasn't told you that it can take like the film on your grooming apparel that keeps it hair resistant and kind of ruin that um and it can distort some colorations because of that film on the grooming apparel so just food for thought um so i don't use any fabric softener and i just wash them in cold water and i hang to dry all of my work stuff and I have had no problems so again they have given me no issues I really enjoy them I really do wish they were for my personal preference a bit more um, higher on the waist as you can see and like I said yeah there's no pockets that there's really these are pretty much just your basic legging and for a really good price I mean $45.99 that's pretty um, that's pretty much the average rate for like a good pair of leggings that are going to hold up um, and that look nice and that actually do the job that we need them to do, which is repel hair. So solid, solid for um, Ladybird. I mean, great leggings. I really have no complaints. I just wish they were a little bit more high-waisted, but that's a personal preference. So that's pretty much it. All right, so um, my last legging I'm going to be reviewing today are the Loyalty Pet Products leggings. Um, as a couple of you all know, I'm sure I used to be a rep slash like sponsor of theirs, and I'm not anymore, so I want to preface this by saying there's no animosity, at least not from me. I hope not from them as well, but um, I am all good with everything. I was the one that ended the relationship, so um, I have I have nothing bad to say. Um, and this is my honest review of their leggings. I have worn their leggings the most out of all three pairs because I was pretty much with the company for a while. Um, they do have a large logo on the front which some people love some people don't that's totally up to you i'm not a super big fan but i don't love branding on stuff like that like the kinchi fab pants have a very very small little silver thing sewn onto it and that doesn't bother me at all honestly that i totally get that um and the ladybird pair doesn't have a single branding on the outside of the legging at all so I love that and um, these are the only pair that do have a actual emblem um, on the outside of the legging. I wish it was black. That would make me feel like it's not really there but it's still there. I know a lot of athletic um, 
apparel other than like your big name brand like you know if you have Nike you want people to know it's Nike so you have a big Nike check on there but um like Lululemon they have just a real tiny little thing and it usually blends in with the color of the legging that would be pretty cool so that emblem is a little bit bothersome but doesn't affect the the use of the legging um the legging this legging is the thinnest out of all three so if you live somewhere where it's hot like Florida um Texas I don't know these might be your go-to I live in Kentucky it gets cold here and in the winter they are a little chilly um I will say the black pair with them being the thinnest I don't have a problem with them being see-through um I do know they have patterned pairs I think they're the only company that has the patterned printed leggings that are also hair resistant. I know I mentioned Ladybird has some patterned leggings, but I could be wrong, but I just don't think the Ladybird ones are hair resistant. But um, Loyalty Pet Products is the only one that does have the hair resistant printed on leggings. So if that's something you love, um, they're definitely the ones to check that out from. And their pairs range, I think, from like $42 to $47 on their website. And um, they actually are the only ones that offer boot cuts so they have a lot of varieties to kind of accommodate a lot of people um they also have pockets on both sides of the legging so if you are a pocket kind of gal definitely check those out um they these do have the better pocket like the pocket on these pants is better than the pocket on the kinchy pants like i said i hate the pocket on the kinchy pants i don't use pocket on pockets on my leggings but if you do the way the pet products pockets are much better they have a little flap so like hair can't get into them um and it's very a very well, well thought out pocket as far as that goes now these leggings are structured very much in an athletic styled way um they remind me a lot of my very athletic leggings with the amount of stitching and where the stitching is that can be a problem as thread does pretty much attract hair i don't know what thread this is this is out of versus like the kinchy ones because the kinchy's thread doesn't collect hair um but i do have some hair that occasionally will get into the threading of my loyalty pet products leggings and they do have the most most um, seams on all of those. They go through the sides, they go through the front, they go through the back. There are just a lot of seams on these leggings. So if seams bother you, you might want to head back to the Ladybird leggings because those ones have no seams. <laughs> but I mean, ultimately, you do have to have seams to like make a pair of pants as I get it, um, but these definitely do have more seams. And I would totally classify these as high-waisted. They definitely hold you in. Um, my my preferable height, I would have to say. They're very, very high up. Now, their actual waistband part is very thin, and it's made out of a different material than the rest of the legging. Um, it's kind of... It's not that it's, I wouldn't say I love it or I hate it. It's just different than the other two and different than any other legging I have ever worn. Um, and that part will collect hair, but my smock usually covers it and I really don't have a lot of hair getting there. Now, if you sit and groom, that might be a problem for you, but ultimately it hasn't really affected the use of the leggings at all. The rest of the leggings are completely hair resistant and I have washed and worn these like normal guys i mean i really not much to say about them they do have the most varieties um i would just say they are pretty thin compared to the other two so it's up to you but i still would say they're squat proof i personally haven't had an issue with that um i have only tried the black pair of leggings i'm not a big fan of printed leggings so i don't know about their patterned leggings how 
if they're made any different or if they're scrap proof or any of that stuff i'm just speaking for the black pairs of all the ones that i'm talking about because that's all i wear and sometimes things can different have different variables and different leggings especially different manufacturers and stuff so um i do probably know the most about the loyalty leggings if we're like out of my knowledge of all three i know more about the loyalty leggings than i do the other two just because i've worn them longer i've worn them for at least a year since they've had them available maybe a little bit longer than that um no it's been a year it's been a year and um I would wear them every day. I have several pairs. I know uh, because the waistband is different and a different material and sewn in um, compared to the other two waistbands on the other leggings, there have been people that say like it comes undone. Now, I will have to say in their defense, a lot of people, um, oh, I still have lots, I'll show you. They tend to pull leggings up and just like grab it at your waist and like yank yank up and you can't do that when you have any kind of legging that's that's what i what i see when i read the reviews and or see complaints of people with their grooming apparel it's just misuse i saw someone that had that problem with the kinchy ones that they ripped this this part because those are so tight you have to pull here and honestly i can't believe i'm explaining to grown women how to put leggings on <laughs> but if you are putting your leggings on and you're not pulling from here and you're pulling from here you probably are going to have more problems with them ridging, ripping stretching the threads coming undone versus actually just taking the time to pull this up from down here and then put your pants on all the way <laughs> I don't know maybe this isn't common sense or common knowledge maybe I it's something just from the fact that I I wear expensive leggings I, I do I do guys so maybe it's something I know that's not a normal thing that you can't just put them on like a pair of jeans but I think hopefully that information should help some people because I've seen with all leggings in the industry people are like they're ripping here they're ripping here and I'm Granted, I'm sure sometimes it does happen. It's just faulty stitching, but most of the time, guys, you're probably doing something wrong. I have not had a single pair of my pants ruined in the wash, ruined in the dryer, because they don't go in the dryer. Um, so uh, I don't know what to tell you guys on that part. A lot, of, a lot of the reviews are like, how do they hold up? How do they do this? And um, I didn't know what I was going to tell you guys because I have no problem with any of my grooming apparel holding up. Um, I wash things on like a gentle cycle in cold water and you do not, do not put them in the dryer. Everything gets hung to dry. So I've never had a problem with any grooming apparel as far as like them falling apart on me. Um, so that's pretty much all I've got to say. Now, if I have to say my favorite and put them in order, I guess we can do it. My, my favorite pair is definitely the Kinchy, the Kinchy leggings. So that's a hands down, my favorite pair. They come in an extra small through uh, extra, extra large. Um, I will say though, it off of the sizing chart i should be an extra small but i got a small and they barely fit so if you are looking at the sizing chart for yourself and trying to figure that out it is just due to the the amount of compression that those leggings have i mean they are tight 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 okay but it's good you want them tight they're not going to do the job if they're not tight okay um so if you don't like that tight feeling i probably could have gone up to a medium and they not be near as tight and they still fit um i'm five nine for reference i weigh 136 i'm pretty much a smallish size across the board so um if you're trying to shop for yourself hopefully that helps i don't know those are definitely probably my first pick just because i don't think people understand and appreciate the compression that these leggings have and they have to be good if i think they're worth a hundred dollars and they're good they're that good buy them even though they're a hundred dollars 
you won't regret it. Just take care of them. Just take care of your stuff and things don't fall apart. Here is where we go into my second pick. This one's hard. Because there's things that I like and I don't like about each pair, um, the Ladybird ones and the Little Teapot Products ones. Um, price is pretty comparable. The Ladybird ones are 45 and the Little Tea ones are like between 42 and 47, depending on if you're getting boot cut or the regular legging. I think the regular legging one is the $42 one. Um, so I mean, you're looking at a $3 difference. That's, that's really nothing. So ultimately, price isn't a variable. They're the same there. As you're far as you're going as high waisted goes if that's something you're concerned about low to prep products definitely takes the bag on that one i do not just personally consider the ladybird ones high waisted i just don't um if seams are something that bothers you then the ladybird pants are going to be the ones that you want over the with pet products ones it's pretty much just boils down to they're pretty even truly but these two leggings are pretty even so it comes down to what are your preferences when you want to pick these my preferences are high-waisted I want high-waisted leggings um so if I'm gonna get ready to work and I've opened my drawer of leggings and they're both clean I'm probably picking the Lodge Pet Products Up ones first over the Ladybird ones strictly of the sole purpose that they are much more high-waisted than the Ladybird ones. And to me, it makes me feel more comfortable at work. I don't feel like I'm falling out of my pants all day. Um, and that's just kind of how I go about it. But um, So if my personal preference order, I guess, would have to be Kinchy, Loyalty, and Ladybird if I'm going, but truly the Ladybird and the Loyalty ones are equivalent, guys. So um, whatever your preferences are, look at that and then make the decision because my preference is the fact that I want them to be high-waisted and they are the ones that would win out on that. <laughs> but um, they do have different things. Like if pockets bother you, you don't want the loyalty ones. They have both pockets on both sides. You would definitely want the ladybird ones instead that don't have pockets. So things like that comes down to personal preference. Once the price is the same, I think the quality is the same. Um, that's pretty much it. They both repel hair. They both do their job as a legging in the industry. So whatever your preference is, that's the one you're probably going to want. Um, I am a small in the Ladybird one. I can't remember their, how their sizing works. I just know I ended up getting a small and it fits. Um, the Lowe's Pet Products ones on their sizing chart, I would be classified as a medium. Um, and I got those and they were way too big, like baggy in this area, like behind, like in the knees. So I sized down to a small and they are still a touch, a touch, like not as form fitting as I would like, which is why the Kinchy ones won out if I'm comparing, which I am because this is a comparison video. <laughs> um, but I did size down to a small from a medium in the Lotus Pet Products one. So hopefully that helps you guys if you are looking to get yourself some new leggings because that's all I work in. I love working in leggings. I can't. I hate grooming pants, like the pants, like the nylon, the swooshy pants, you know? Uh-uh, I can't, so. That's it, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully this helped if you don't have all the leggings. I know it can, it can be costly to try and try new grooming um, apparel, especially if you don't know if you like it. I mean, like, I hate buying new things without being able to try them on. I hate it. I hate it. I want to be able to try everything on, like everything. So this is a difficult thing because it's not like you can just go into a store and buy grooming apparel, you know? We all have to pretty much order it, wait for the trade shows to start back up maybe if they ever will. Um, but that's it, guys, all right? So there is my legging 
comparison review video, if you will. I hope that helped you all. I hope it was what you all wanted. I'm so sorry it took so long. Um, I wanted to do this video a lot sooner, but my sign didn't come in in time, and then it was time for my Christmas giveaway, so that took up all of my time that I have put aside for YouTube to be able to like do that instead of doing this lighting video. So it was a little bit late, but hopefully it was worth the wait. Um, so that's it guys. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you all have any questions, you can always DM me there as well as drop a comment below. If you all need any help, I will get back to you guys the best I can. And if you would please, if you appreciate me, if you like these these videos if you like what I do if you like me um, please hit that subscribe button just helps my channel and would mean a lot to me okay <laughs> so you can stay up to date I've got a lot of new videos planned a lot of fun stuff that is still gonna happen I am 2021 is the year that I'm trying to take YouTube to the next level so I hope you guys are ready and I want you guys to come with me so hit that subscribe button okay um, until next time guys bye